Hi everyone, Christian here, and in this video I'm going to go over the five signs that humanity is currently becoming a type 1 civilization. Before starting, it's worth noting that as we near the status of a type 1 and obtain more control over our planet's energy systems, it will have ripple effects in our cultures and relationship with technology. So stay tuned to the end to see how the rapid advancements of today shape your future. Starting off the list is the trend of geographical unification. And no, not this. Over the last couple centuries, there have been countless small kingdoms that have merged into empires like the US, China, Russia, and the EU, often in pursuit of self-interest, but also because increasing human capital and cooperation grows the economic pie. Currently, the world is shifting toward a digital economy where borders no longer prevent commerce and communication. It may appear seamless today, but in truth, we're still in the beginning of connecting the world. Harnessing our current energy has led to transportation innovations like the Hyperloop, supersonic flight, and even autonomous rockets. All capable of significantly increasing our speed and interaction with distant lands. As access to these forms of travel become more affordable and efficient, it will begin to blur the lines that we call borders and possibly unify humanity in the least violent way yet. Next up, we have what some people call the first version of a type one telephone, the internet. Right now, the internet is mostly provided through expensive cables that run underground. But as we speak, fleets of internet projecting satellites are preparing to provide the world with faster, cheaper, and broader reaching access. Considering only about half the world is even on the internet, this will be a huge opportunity for people in hard to reach areas. Since having access has already become a necessity in a modern economy, in the future, there may be a global internet that's collectively owned since there are already treaties that prevent ownership of our upper atmosphere, making the internet more of a shared commodity, kind of like GPS. The collective benefit from having more people on the internet has become difficult to ignore, and going forward, humanity will continue upgrading our networks to teach and connect us further. So now for a controversial one. There are signs that we are approaching the beginning stages of a global culture. Love it or hate it, you can't deny that our transportation systems and growth of the internet have increased our exposure to the stuff that used to be too far away. For instance, all over the world, preferences are aligning in so many areas of life. Since governments typically set the tone for their people, it's worth noting how world leaders dress nowadays. You might notice there's not a lot of diversity in their fabric, almost like there's an unspoken dress code. Language barriers are also disappearing, as language softwares are now advanced enough to interpret in real time, thus making the way you speak irrelevant when it comes to communication. Most interesting of all is how obscure fandoms from books, movies, video games are spreading like wildfire basically making a world where people in other countries prioritize the same things as you. This is one I often bring up in my other videos, but the proliferation of renewable technology is yet another sign of our advancement. Everything humans consume comes with a fixed cost, primarily being the energy it takes to make it. And this applies to food, water, and all the other things that get purchased. In order to decrease the price and reduce pollution, technologies that harness our planet's energy have been developed and are even competitive against fossil fuels like coal. Efficient ways of getting energy aside, innovations in energy storage have also been scaling globally, helping to provide more adaptable solutions for when the lights actually do go out. Finally, for the most exciting and possibly most scary sign, the ability to edit life. Although there isn't a quote unquote life energy, there is DNA and chemical energy within every cell. With the power of a technology called CRISPR, 
we now have the ability to alter how those cells use their energy. In 2018, the first genetically modified baby was born in China to protect him from HIV. And this year, the state of Florida is supposed to release 750,000 genetically modified mosquitoes in an effort to lower insecticide use and battle malaria. Using CRISPR to alter plants is also on the table to help them produce more fruit, increase resilience, and even grow upside down. So in short, this technology has revolutionized our relationship with living things and time. Normally it takes millennia for genomes to evolve, but now we have the power to force it within a single day. The repercussions of CRISPR are still unknown, but considering there is already evidence of lab rats having their lifespans elongated, it could mean that once the technique is refined, humanity could say goodbye to our worst fear, aging. Now, if you made it to the end, I hope you enjoyed everything and learned a little bit more about the world. But just know the only sign I have that you enjoyed this video is if you smash the like button and subscribe for regular content. Also, if there are any signs that I missed in this video, please let me know down in the comment section. And remember, keep orbiting, and I'll see you in the next one.